Hi, I'm Damaris Jordan. I'm sending you a message today that comes from deep within my heart. Um, I'm here in the studio of Clark's Chapel Baptist Church in Thomaston, Georgia, and so much enjoy sharing the memories that God has given me that not only have recorded in my mind, but are so deeply recorded in my heart. Um, the relationship with God is the most precious thing in my life, and I'm so thankful that He makes life um, the best it can be. If I turn to Him and look to Him for everything I need, there's nothing that's missed. I know that He loves me. I know that He shows me how to live my life and gives me the grace to do the best I can. He has mercy upon me. He loves me. And through His Son, Jesus, He gave me the way out of the penalty of sin in this life so that one day I'm going to go and be with Him and all the others who have believed in Him uh, there in heaven. Meanwhile, while I'm here, waiting for that day to come, he says, occupy to do what we can for him and to be busy about his business and the business of the kingdom. And that's what uh, we're hoping and praying that these things that we do through Clark's Chapel, the pastor, Brother Dean Hemphill, as he does 10 Minutes of Truth, uh, David, as he does the Then Sings My Soul, which I join him most of the time, and then my diaries, Damaris's diaries, that are just um, true events that have um, impressed me in my life that as I choose one each week, I, I pray for God to lead me for the one that would be timely for someone who's listening to this. Today, I want to share with you a story, and the title of it is Wall of Prayer and Protection. Wall of Prayer and and protection. Perhaps you can envision this. Um, I hope so by the time I get through telling my story. I have a scripture to read, 2 Chronicles 16 and verse 9. For the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth to show himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is loyal to him. So he has a, the chosen uh people that, uh, even though we can be his children, those that try to live strong for him and dedicate themselves to him, he is a strong force in their lives. Um, sometimes we may wonder why things come our way. And, uh, you know, it can be so many reasons. For one thing, it's how he uses um, the events of life to make us and fashion us into the person, the Christian that he wants us to be. Uh, the testimony before others. Other times it might be that he took his hands off of us for us to live the consequences of our decisions and to see life as it could be without him. Just on and on we could make comparisons. But today I want to share with you a precious story. Uh, it does go back a number of years, back when um, I was alone living in Dalton. David was traveling across the country, as we've shared before, singing with poet voices. And um, how my life took um, took a, a new venture that I had not had to be involved in before. Uh, this begins um, with a memory that is so impressed uh, in my heart as I uh, have mentioned that I, th I still think of it so often and will share it from time to time with others. What I have in my memory is the view of people in the altar, on their knees before God, and the preacher standing and calling to the congregation to come join those that had already come forth. Then the preacher calls for those that are the prayer warriors and the deacons and the elders in the church to come and to stand as a hedge of protection for those in the altar, praying over them while standing at guard to stop anything that might come against them. You know, we can even be defeated in the altar. We can go there and we can uplift our, our hearts to God and our mind can still be working 
it's almost like we need to turn it off. But while our mind is working, thoughts can come in that can rob us of the victory that we could have while in the altar. I heard sweet voices of prayer lifted to our Father and saw a human wall form linked hand by hand, building on each other's strength in prayer. And I just envision this. The altar in maybe the church you go to or another church that you visited before that you can picture the people in the altar and then above those that are nailed down, there is this wall that is joined together hand in hand and praying. I was visiting churches in the town at that time uh, where David had, uh, you know, taken off on his travels and it was up to me to find the church that would be right for me uh, during my, my time alone. Uh, several of my customers invited me to their church and I did some visiting. And this one church that I'm speaking about today was a church that uh, a gentleman who touched my heart very deeply because of his love for God and also his kindness to me. He was truly a father figure um, that I found much comfort in. He showed me care that I find a church to nourish me during my stay uh, in this new life that I found myself in. And he had even told me to call, told me I could have his number and to call him personally if I felt led to come and visit his church uh, and that he and his wife would be praying for me and be watching for me to arrive at the church. And of course, um, that gave me great comfort, and that was his goal for me not to be afraid of coming alone. When I got to the church, it started with the music. It was absolutely beautiful. A wonderful choir and musicians as they lifted up their, their talents to God. It just touched me so that the next day I had to call the minister of music at the church to tell him just how wonderfully my heart had been uplifted and encouraged and blessed. But to tell you the song in particular that I spoke to him about, I really can't name it right now. The sermon was inspiring, but I can't tell you right now what scripture it was and exactly the message that the preacher shared that night. What followed the music and the sermon on that day has so much longer encouraged my life by the true vision of it and the memory as I recall it. Um, day to day as I need the assurance of God's presence and protection from this harsh world around me, I can just envision the same protection angels give you and me by their protection over us as God assigns them. It was God's word in truth and promise put before me in an image like in, into nothing that I had ever seen before. As people gathered in a row across the church and closing the altar, I felt the assurance of God's word calling his angels to guard over me and protect me against danger, to fight my battle, and to comfort me when I felt alone. I had an experience with my heavenly father like I had never had before. It was one more time, one more way, that he showed his love and compassion for me to meet my needs, to make it a visible thing, that um, great power in his promises uh, just came alive one more time to assure me of his loving care. I want to uh, give you a reflection to think about concerning this experience I had. How many times do we have God's protection over us and we ignore? We ignore to recognize it. We know the power God is able to pour out for us, and yet we deny him the privilege to be father, provider, protector, leader, defender, comforter, unless we are right in our relationship with him. We've got to know that our relationship is so touchable in the sense of the Spirit that there is no doubt God is with us. No doubt at all that He is real. No doubt at all 
that he cares for us and just wants to be a part of every day that we live. He will be God and take care of us to a point, but it is up to us to allow him, to invite him, to encourage him to be who he wants to be to us, to do the rest that he is willing to do by having our heart perfect before him through prayer and asking him to be part of our daily living. God is so much greater than we realize. Just the impact of instances like this that remind us of just what he wants to do for us, how much he wants to be that father to us that he has promised, how much that he wants to have us in comfort and in um, just the place of leaning in his arms of assurance and protection and all the many things that come daily to us that from one moment to another can change. God is all of that, and he wants us to be reminded. So I hope today as I have shared this wall of prayer and protection that you can envision God's work in your life too in this same manner. Um, I will forever be grateful to God for this experience. Um, it's like none other that I've ever taken part in before. And I'm thankful that God has given me such a memory of it and that I can hold on to it and call it at times when I need to be reminded. And we do need to be reminded of just who God is and what he means to us. I pray that God's blessed you through this. I pray that he'll bless you today. Um, pray that he will guide you and lead you and form testimonies in your life too that you can share as encouragement to others. Let your light shine.